Right. It gets difficult, obviously, when you've got a wife or you've got a significant other. <laughs> How are you, mate? <laughs> I think you'll find that that's probably one of the fittest dogs out there. Yeah. <laughs> this dog is experiencing a 5% increase in the yeah. animals. I've just arrived at Rico Rogers' house. He runs a company called Box Altitude and they do Altitude Solutions. And I'm here today because I'm going to be picking up an Altitude tent. I'm going to be sleeping at Altitude over the next month. And many of my subscribers will know that I don't mind a biohack for improved performance on the bike. And in fact, if you've just landed on this channel, this is where I do inspirational and entertaining cycling videos with some product reviews and also some biohacks for improved performance on the bike. Now, whilst we're at Rico's house, I thought I'd ask him a little bit about box altitude. Additionally, like the solutions that they offer, why would you sleep at Attitude? What performance gains am I going to get? And also a little bit about Rico and his background. He actually used to be a professional cyclist himself. So let's go and have a chat. Hey Rico, how are you? Good, yeah. <laughs> Not too bad. What do you got down here? A bit of fruit for me, fruit and veg. Yeah, yeah. You know, we, uh, we give it to all of our guests. <laughs> do the coffee or fruit. <laughs> We used to have just meat, but the crows got to it, really. Yeah, right. Cool. All right. Okay. So just at the back here where all the altitude solutions are, all the boxes. Wait a sec. What have we got here? What's this doing here? You going for a ride? Soon I will be, yeah. yeah? As soon as I can. What's this bike like? Uh, it's good. It's fast. Um, I really like the lightweights. Power meter's great. Um, yeah, I try to abuse it as often as I can. But... <laughs> Before we get into all the stuff you've got here, do you want to tell us a little bit about just what is, what's box, box Attitude? So we sort of do anything from mask-based solutions yep. to tents, to altitude training rooms, to altitude sleeping rooms. Yep. Actually in its current form, probably 2014. Yeah, right. Yeah, when 2014 I sort of lost my job with OCBC cycling team. Yeah. Or they folded essentially and so then I needed something to do and altitude was kind of one of the things that just works so I was like this is good you can not many players in the game and I think we can make a better product than anyone yeah so I sort of started in 2010 with actually altitude tents yeah, um, right. before that I lived in France for a couple of years in the mountains and I saw my hematocrit go up by X amount I was like oh yeah, well this is pretty pretty worthwhile. What's X amount? I think I, think I started off at 39.6% yep. hematocrit and I left my last blood test there was 44.5. Right. Yeah. Yeah, it was decent, you know, I was, I was living at about 11 or 1200 meters. Right. Yeah, and so I just trained there. Like I'd, what I'd normally do is I'd ride down the, the mountain to um, the flat, and then I do all my training like I do. I go round Lac Le Mans. Yeah, there was all being at altitude. And then yeah. I came back here, um, and I got a contract with Giant ART, which is Asian Racing Team. Yeah. And we had to go and do a race at altitude, Chiang Mai Lake, which is base is at about three thousand two hundred. Yeah. And so I was like, oh, I'll I'll get a tent and do that, and and acclimatise for that. And so and yeah, it worked just the same as is when I was living at altitude. Yeah, right. Yeah, same heme hemoglobin and hematocrit change. It's pretty impressive, really. Right. And so after that, when I came back, um, bought the tent that I was using, um, and then just started to research more and more and more, and, and then I sort of decided eventually, like, oh, these tents aren't very comfortable, it wasn't really suiting my lifestyle, so changed and altered them, and then through basically just spending time in tents and and knowing what it does to your lifestyle and your energy levels just get developing and developing and and now we're sort of here with yeah cost effective or well, more cost effective solutions so you've got a lot of stuff in here what do you want to walk yeah. us through what you've got in here so we've got is this is the big daddy yeah kind of this is actually a baby sized commercial system this is actually a single phase commercial system is yeah. this what you've got in your bedroom which you can show us later uh, Something like this no, size? Or? So we used to have that feeding into the bedroom, but yep. we changed to these ones here. Um, so these are our design internally and externally. Um, the reason that we like these so much and we're really 
kind of in love with these at the moment is because it's just so cost effective. Right. So how much is this versus that? This is, I think it's 2.9, including GST. One of these will do a tent or a mask-based training system. Okay. And yeah, tent, a queen tent, a single tent. And then you can pair them up and you can actually just have multiples going into the same space. Right. And into the same space. It's dead quiet inside as well. So it gives you a bit more flexibility. A bit more flexibility. And if you bought one with a tent, you can graduate, you know, like right. if you're suddenly earning more in your contract or whatever, you can do your whole bedroom. Well, so, so like all of this sort of studies say, I was reading one the other day that said 5% increase in hemoglobin um, if you're sleeping at 2,450 meters, which is pretty specific. That's quite interesting level or height because you sleep really well at that sort of height. And so if you're getting a five percent increase, that means that you're essentially getting a five percent increase in your lifestyle or energy levels or, or recovery levels or anything like that. Wow. Yeah, it's actually quite significant. If you're let's say microdosing with EPO, which is essentially the same thing, just a legal version of it, um, you know, you, everything has a follow-on effect. Like, so your testosterone, because you're recovering faster, your testosterone will, will increase as well. There's like some quite pretty significant gains to be had. Yeah, right. And what are these things like to sleep in? Like, how am I going to find the sleep? And how much um, sleep do I need? Well, we sort of get people to do two lots of 12 nights in. Okay. Do 12 nights in, a couple of nights out. Yeah. And then another 12 nights in. Yeah, okay. But then again, I sent through all the protocols anyway. Yeah, okay. So you just follow the, the acclimatization. Yeah. And is it going to be comfortable or uncomfortable sleep? Well, the first three nights, like, it's fairly well documented that yeah, okay. they're fairly uncomfortable. Yeah. Quite simply because your your body's changing quite a bit. Yeah. So you can experience anywhere from a 5 to 15% increase in heart rate. So you can, yeah, you can feel a bit of discomfort. Mm. And they, these ones with the tent, it's a little bit louder than what you'd really like. It's about 45 or 50 decibels. Okay, right. And it's not really ideal. So what is ideal is, you know, silent and then being able to cool the space as well. Because yeah. you'll notice in the first few nights that it'll be hotter. Right. Potentially not necessarily because the tent's hot. It's more or less because your body's working quite a bit harder. Yeah. But you'll also notice sort of within the first 30 to 35 hours that your anaerobic threshold will take quite a big increase. Right. Yeah. Yeah, it's quite, yeah, it's pretty interesting. I think I did a, I've done a couple of tests with myself with it. I cross-reference and check everything. I got a 4.3 increase in anaerobic threshold after 35 hours and a 3.8% increase in anaerobic threshold after I think it was 32 hours. Wow. Yeah. It's going to be good for the crits. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Yeah. Um, now you've got an app that you've just launched as well. Yeah. Did you, do you want to just walk us through that? Yeah, yeah, I'll show you it actually. I'll show you it upstairs. So last night we, we just slept at 1800. We have done for a few nights actually. It's a bit of a snapshot of it. And so we're sleeping at 1800. And like, I sort of found that we we get a lot of deep sleep at around 1800. Right. And so on the way up, we've sort of been peri periodically going up and then to capture some, some deep sleep, we've been coming, pairing it back and then, and then getting in. The benefit of having it is that we can actually, obviously A, record, B, overlay it with our sleep data, which is a third party app that we've been using mm -hmm. and then we can have it set set on journeys throughout the evening right so we can actually start it off at let's say 1500 meters we can go up to 2500 meters and then we can come back down and then end the, the evening of sleep at sort of 1500 or whatever we want to again yeah okay yeah and does, so this is ultimately going to enable you to pinpoint the best attitude for you, for you? Yeah. yeah are there other apps like this available not in the world. Not in the no. world. Right. Yeah. Like. So have you have you found the adoption with athletes, or is it still because it's in its infancy and it's new? People are trying to get their head around the the value, or you you seeing good adoption. I think 
clever sports scientists and doctors of sports science and even sleep scientists are really excited by it. Right. But the lower levels of people that are a bit slower to react or slower to pick up, it takes a little more words and a little more, um, not convincing, but just showing them the raw facts as well. And uh, the, th the frustrating thing with, with so many studies about altitude is that you can kind of, it's hard to see the forest from the trees, you know? Oh. And so presenting them with only maybe a couple of key um, studies is probably what we've found to be really great. And then on top of that, the older coaches and trainers are, it's, it's a harder sell in some ways. Yeah. The younger ones that see the actual percentage gains are like, wow, this is ridiculous. With the office. Where does it pump in? Just through here, through that one, and then through that one. Yeah. So two. Is that normal to have two? Is that what you got to have? No, not really. We sort of, um, yeah, just playing around. So how much do you get an install like this, to something like this? How much would that be to get installed? Like I think this one retails about 16. Yeah, 16 okay. and a half. Right. Can't remember whether it's plus GST or not. For better sleep and recovery for the best of your life. For the rest of your life. Five percent. Yeah, five percent. Yeah, and we'll look at the dog. She's fifty years old. <laughs> <laughs> She's like going strong. <laughs> so this is the tent, yeah. So what do we got in here? Yeah. So this is in the space. So like an IKEA setup, is it? Yeah. If you can master IKEA, you can master this. Okay. Yeah. I can't master IKEA. So uh, what's going to happen? <laughs> Well, you're not going to be able to sleep in the house today. <laughs> That's the simplest answer. Um, oh, I don't. Head. Oh, sorry. Well, yes. So we're loaded in the car. Altitude tent. Done and dusted. Catch you in the next video.